How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the best besieged creations. This week, we're starting off with Thomas the B2 Spirit Bomber. And as typical, Thomas in, uh, in, in Besiege is absolutely horrifying. I mean, look at him. Look at him. This man means business, and today we're gonna take off and- Whoa, 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 what am I doing? What, what, excuse me? Okay, wrong, wrong way, that's why, okay. I'm a professional train flyer, guys, that's, uh, that's clearly what's happening here. So yes, this is a bomber, it's a very, very big bomber, and- Oh, Jesus, that's not good. Oh, God, oh, that's even worse. All right, every train needs a test flight, you know? So, uh, that one was the test one, now we're ready to go, and hopefully we can bomb some of these people. This is actually amazing how- Oh, God, things keep falling off. Of it. Thomas, you're not very well put together, buddy. Okay, let's just totally avoid that. Jesus Christ, that was way too close. This thing is fast as heck. Can't say hell anymore, guys. Uh, the uh, YouTube algorithm doesn't like that. Oh, God. All right, let's give this a real try here, though. Thomas is is really, really fast, so I, I do have to uh, kind of do my best to control him here, but Jesus, things are just flying off of him. He's too fast for his own good. All right, we, we are losing one Thomas piece at a time here. Let's uh, try and drop these bombs before we lose everything. Okay, we're coming down. This is kind of a weird way to bomb, but uh, let's uh, start slowing down, actually. Let's turn off the engines here. There's definitely some drag going on. Thomas has, has seen better days. I'm gonna wrap around and see if we can actually bomb some of these things. So there we go. Now we're slowing down a little bit. Maybe maybe a little too slow. Drop. Uh, oh, really, really, Thomas? This is why you shouldn't be a B2 bomber, Thomas. You're you're a train, damn it. Okay, well Thomas likes to explode when I drop the bombs for some reason. Oh, okay, oh, that that's a wall. That 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 time it was my fault. Okay, coasting in. Time to actually try and utilize this. Really, really, Thomas. Thomas really likes to explode, guys. I have the hatch open. I've done everything that's needed to be done. Thomas just, he's not meant to be a bomber, guys. I think we've gone too far. I think officially, this is it. This is too much. Too much. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Tommy, this time, this time, we're, we're gonna do it, bud. We're gonna not blow up and... Oh, oh, I missed it. I missed it, but at least we dropped some bombs without dying, my friend. All right, we're gonna go around again. This time, it's gonna go well, my friend. All right, slow and steady wins the race. This time... Let's let her go right now. No, Thomas! You've betrayed me again! Okay, well, clearly Thomas really doesn't want to destroy things. Thomas is a family-friendly train. This is this is totally out of his comfort zone. Or is it? All right, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Ocean International Space Elevator. It's an Ace Combat 7 creation here, and yes... As you can see, oh my god, it just keeps going and going and going and going. Uh, but yes, that's a space elevator up here. We also have the Type 36 R Alfred. This is a nice old classic car, so I thought we'd go for, oh god, oh god, it's a little bouncy. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I thought we'd go for a little drive down here and check out this very awesome Ace Combat map. I don't know if we can actually use the elevator. I'm hoping we can, but I wouldn't be surprised if we unfortunately can't. Oh, damn it. All right, let's try that again. Just getting used to this car. So it looks like, yes, this is definitely the middle over here. But unfortunately, can we not get inside? No, we cannot. That's a little unfortunate. But this is a very big map. There's supposed to be some points of interest as well. So we'll go check those out. All right, this map is damn huge. I actually see there's a bridge looking like it comes in here and goes out one of these possibly. This is probably it or close to it. Yes, there's the bridge right there. Uh, there's supposed to be some pretty interesting islands on this place as well, so I thought we'd go to at least one. And, uh, this car is absolutely awesome as well. I didn't really notice until now, but it's actually using, uh, some steering assist. If you look when we steer, you can see those flaps opening up. That's actually using steering assist. We can, uh, turn it without those as well, but, uh, auto automatically it opens those up when we do steer. So it's a pretty interesting, very unique car design. I've, oh god, okay, so I guess that is a dead end there. There is a shipping yard over here, though, so I don't know much about Ace Combat 7. I do know... Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is... Oh, yeah, we broke some stuff off. Uh, but I do know that a lot of Besiege Creators... Oh, these are movable. I did not expect that. A lot of Besiege Creators, uh, do Ace Combat, uh, items, so... This is one of them. I just thought it was too cool not to show. I mean, look at this. I can't even get it all on screen. You know what? Let's fly around it. Let's see how high we can go. 
Okay, this isn't dangerous at all. We're gonna go for it. Come on, Stucka, you can do it. Yes, MVP. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, look at the size of this thing. So, yeah, unfortunately, I was just trying to make sure we couldn't go up it. That's a little unfortunate. I'd love to see this thing actually work and take you to, like, a different level or something. I know that's not possible right now, but maybe one day in Besiege we can do that. But it just keeps... Yeah, it's pretty damn tall. Can we go to the top of it, or are we going to hit either the free zone or a wall? That's the big question. Making our way up, that's for sure. I mean, this thing is just so tall, though. It It's amazing we can actually still... Go oh, okay. Looks like, yes, we hit the roof there. I figured there would be one. But now you get a size reference on how big this freaking thing is. So yeah, that is the Ocean, or Ocean, I'm not really sure, International Space Elevator. A pretty impressive design here. Also, it said there's supposed to be, like, realistic water, so I want to just check that out. Uh, it does look way better than most water in Besiege, that's for sure. Can we crash into it? Oh, yes, we can go inside of it, too. Pretty cool. All right, check out this, ladies and gentlemen. We got a rock crawler here, and a very awesome rock crawler at that. It's got a driver inside. We got a winch on the front that we can use, and uh, in front of us is a very big hill that we're going to try and make our way up. Was that a lightning strike? I think that was. That's pretty cool. So I don't know if I've shown you this, to be fair, guys. Uh, it's actually said to be Dregasted on the uh, Steam Workshop page, which is a common thing. Uh, creators will do if they make their uh, creation in a Dregas video, but I honestly don't remember this, so uh, yeah, sorry guys, it's 160 episodes, a lot of these blend together, so if we've seen this before, uh, well, we're seeing it again, and we're trying it at a new hill though, this is a very awesome rock crawling hill, so hopefully we can use this winch to our advantage, maybe we, don't, we won't even need to use it, and we can make our way up here, but check out that suspension, I just love that there's an actual driver in the seat here. Okay, this is gonna get really difficult here. We're breaking off panels. That doesn't matter as long as our suspension doesn't break. Oh man, I don't even think we're gonna need it. I think this thing's too good on its own. Actually, I think I spoke too soon. Let's, uh, oh, let's not flip backwards. Okay, let's just keep this thing straight. There we go. All right, so we're gonna shoot that thing up and... <laughs> oh god. Well, that's not good. Uh, I'm too much of an angle, so unfortunately my winch flew behind me, and I think that's gonna make it worse for me, because... Am, am I connected to that? I should be... Whoa. What? What just happened? So unfortunately, now that I'm testing out the winch, it's very prone to breakage. If you can do it right, you can get... Yeah, you can see, you can keep the rope on, and it actually does work. Let's unpin the creation first. Uh, but yes, as you can see, it definitely does work. Question being, how do I... Okay, so you can unhook it if you do want to, and then it just kind of dangles there. Problem being, the vast majority of the shots, unless it's really, really close in front of you, because if you want to try and actually throw it, it breaks the damn cord. So what's the point of a winch if it's only going to winch me a few feet? All right, well, I do have a fix for this. Unfortunately, it feels like it's kind of cheating when it comes to rock crawling, though, because the hard part about rock crawling is not destroying your vehicle by the time you get to the top. Uh, so right now, we're in invincibility. Obviously, that means the cord won't break. Uh, so at least we can kind of see how it's meant to be used. Uh, we'll see how far we can get. We can probably do a nice throw right here. Let's back up a bit so it doesn't hit right in front of us. And there we go. Lift it up. Oh, man, that's way up there. We have, we should have no problem at all. Okay, nice and slow. This thing does pull in quick. But now you get the idea. This is how it's supposed to be used. And uh, it's really cool. It's just unfortunate it doesn't work without invincibility on that often. Oh, God, this is this is safe. Okay, we're just going to... Um, I shouldn't have pulled myself in that much, but if we drop it off... Oh, well, it actually gets stuck again. I got to flip it around. I need to stay up here, though. Oh, no! This is what I get for cheating and using invincibility. Damn it. All right, I got a much better connection this time. Let's see if we can actually utilize this thing for what it's meant to be used for, which is pulling yourself. Oh, God, that's not creepy. Okay, we got a damn hole here that I got to avoid. Let's see if we can. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, Jesus. What the? Uh, that's one way to win it, I guess. Jeez. There we go. Oh, Jesus! 
And it wouldn't be a Besiege episode these days without a game with Inside Besiege. This week, we're playing some Clash Royale, and I gotta say, this is the most impressive game that I've ever seen Inside Besiege. Now, if you don't know what Clash Royale is, it's a castle versus castle game where you go up against an opponent here. You'll quickly understand how it works, but it's a very popular phone game, so I wouldn't be surprised if you don't know what it is. Now, this thing is so polished. It took this guy two weeks to make it. Uh, you can actually choose the different types of levels and and the different difficulty. I don't know too much about Clash Royale, and I'm pretty bad at games like this, so we're gonna start off with easy. Not very easy, not, not chicken level, but, you know, peasant level. So let's hit play here, and now we're gonna start getting our cards. Our mana points are on the left-hand side. If you know how Clash Royale works, you'll understand that. And basically, we have two waves we have to support. So I'm gonna throw this guy down this wave, because he's got guys coming this way. Let's start using some of our mana here, and, uh... Basically, I'm spawning troops right now. I choose which lane I want to spawn troops on, and then we start spawning them. This thing looks like a rammer over here, so let's put that there. Uh, let's actually put... Okay, so the rammer seems to get rid of everything on the lane, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to start focusing on the left-hand lane. It looks like he is as well. I want to do a little fight there. Uh, I'm assuming Q is a spawner. Oh, no, it just actually gets a peasant who... He just, he just knocked himself out. Great. Okay, so they're not the smartest of crew, but that's fine. Oh, this guy's level 10? Okay, so this is going to take 10 mana points to get to this guy. I think I'm going to save up for it because it looks like we have the upper hand right now. Now, the whole goal of this, you can see the tower lives on the right-hand side. We have to knock down his towers before he knocks down ours. So there we go. We got the big boy now. That is going to be a very strong guy, at least I'm hoping. I'm going to do this thing over here. I don't know if this is just to kill people, or does it actually damage the stone as well? Looks like it didn't actually damage it there, unfortunately. I'm not actually doing any damage, which is... I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, or if it's... It looks like we're having a hard time damaging it. Maybe I need special units to start damaging it, uh, but we'll learn as we go here. This is just... The fact that we're spawning in things and we have a mini game right now, this is amazing. Now, gonna get six mana points. Spawn up this guy. My boss guy is kind of just chilling at the bridge, unfortunately. So I'm at 10 mana points. I can't spawn that guy. Okay, there we go. We were able to spawn him over there. It is a little bit glitchy. Obviously, with something as, as crazy as this, it's a little bit glitchy. Let's see what this book is all about. So we got uh, Rarity of Troops. Oh my god, this is so amazing. So I'm assuming this is just kind of see what kind of troops you have. There's no way to actually click on these, unfortunately, or anything and kind of learn about them. I'm sure if you play Clash Royale a lot, you know what each unit is kind of doing, though. I really have no idea, so I'm just spawning units and hoping for the best. Actually, look at that! Now we have knocked down its tower, and it, come on, we're so close to knocking it down. Yes! We won! Oh my, that, that was an amazing game inside of a game. I am blown away by this. This is amazing. Okay, let's try one more. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go for, like, insane difficulty, just to see myself get destroyed. So yeah, let's try Insane out and see the difference here. So we start with three mana points. We probably should do this quickly, so let's get that guy over there. Let's get this guy over here. I just want to see how different this is as compared to the normal that we've witnessed. So, man, he's spawning in a lot more troops. I can definitely see that. I think I'm going to wait for my boss, man, because uh, we're actually slowly killing him off. So we have to wait for our mana, unfortunately, with a guy of this size, but... I think it's going to be worth it. There we go. Get him out of there. We still have six mana points. Did I oh, I did the wrong one. I hit E instead of W. No! Okay, that's fine. We'll put the big boy over there. He's not even moving. Okay, so now he's moving. That's good. Let's get my mana. There we go. Get a farmer out there. This is just... I'm blown away. How, how do people think of this stuff? And how do people design it? The Besiege Multiverse Editor is truly impressive. Now, I don't know what this stone does. Let's figure that out. Uh, if we press it, I'm assuming it just gives us a buff. I didn't actually see anything drop. Gotta say, we're holding now up for being on insane right now. They are starting to overrun us, though. You definitely want to strategize what units you use, uh, to fight against the other units. But, uh, I really don't know the stats of these guys, so it's kind of a, a clusterfuck on the battlefield right now. But hey, it happens, you know? Uh, alright, this guy's seven. Wow. And I think most of these units are the enemy team. He has damaged my side uh, castle a little bit, as you can see. So he definitely has the upper hand. Hopefully we can pull this thing back. 
Oh, we got a bomb? I don't think I've seen the bomb. That's going to take eight. I think this is going to be the perfect time. So let's wait for him and drop it. Oh, it went to the bridge. Okay, well, I didn't expect that. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, I'm just going to start spamming everything, hoping for the best because we really need to support. Our castle's being hit. We're being knocked down. So it seems like the difficulty definitely does work. All I have is a tier 10 right now or a mana 10. Uh, so I really don't have too many things to throw out. There we go. Now we're starting to get some more. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to hold this. We got no health at all. No. I think we held it out. I'm going to wait for this boss character. Come on. Get the boss down. There we go. Yes. I'm holding it. If, if, if we can tie this, we only need to wait 10 more seconds. That's all we need. He's trying his best to get in here. It's not really working for him, though. Come on. Get this guy. No. You little jerk. Did, did he win? Oh, yeah, we lost. Okay, so I think if he gets more towers than me, he wins anyway. So he technically didn't kill us totally, but he did take down one of our towers. So that was obviously a lot more difficult as it should have been. All right, and on that bombshell, we're going to wrap up another episode of the Best Besieged Creations, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We checked out a whole plethora of different creations from very, very impressive to very, very silly, as it usually is in Besiege. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you do want to check out any of these creations, the links will be in the description. Thanks so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.